Hey guys and welcome to this unboxing video for the Nokia N8. First let's take a look at the retail box that the device comes in. The thin dark blue color and the packaging style has become a standard for the newer Nokia devices. Turning it around back will show the device specifications, HDMI Dolby logos and some credits. Let's open it up. Taking off the top lids will reveal the device itself. Let's keep the device aside for now and take a look what we have in the package. Firstly we have the HDMI connector which you can connect to the device and connect to your HD te television. Then we have this connector which will allow you to uh, use any USB device with your N8, the USB on the go. Then we have the standard USB data connector which allows you to sync your device with your computer or to transfer your content from your phone to your PC or Mac. You can also use that cable for charging. Then it also comes with a standard charger. It has the, the mini charger port. So you have two options for charging, either over USB or with the charger. Here we have the 3.5 millimeter headset, some extra earbuds. It even has a remote which I failed to see on the Nokia N900 with the back, play, and forward buttons, volume control on the side, and a clip to clip it onto your jacket. Finally, we have the manuals for the device. and the warranty information. Let's get these things to the side and again quickly summarize what we have in the package. We have the USB cable, the charger, 3.5 millimeter headphone, um, along with two adapters for HDMI and USB on the go. SIM card for the device goes in on the side. We'll have to remove the two slots here, revealing the port for the SIM card and for a memory card if you have one available. After you insert your SIM card, you can slip the two covers back into place. On the top we have the 3.5 millimeter jack, the HDMI port which is, which is also covered to keep the dust out. and the power button. On the one side we have the volume rocker, the 
dedicated lock key and this two-stage two camera button. On the other side, we have the micro USB port for charging. And on the underneath, we have the microphone. The device comes with just one key, which is used for the menu. And on the top, we have the sensors, the front-facing camera, and the Nokia logo. Turning the device to the back reveals the 12 megapixel camera with Carl's Zeiss lens and the Xenon flash. Let's power the device up. One thing I did notice is that even with the Symbian 3 update, the device takes probably as long to boot as the older Nokia devices. I would like to see improve in upcoming versions of the software. Firstly, you will be asked to log into your OV account if you have one to transfer your data from your old phone if you do have that it will take you right into the new Symbian 3 interface the interface comes with three home screens which you can add various widgets onto Pressing the menu key will take you into the Symbian menu, which is similar to the ones from the older versions. Here we have the keypad, the lock screen, unlocking the device. A long press on the screen will take you into the add mode for the widgets. You click the plus and then you can select from the list of widgets or click on store to download new widgets certain widgets will request connectivity onto either your uh, data connection or to Wi-Fi that concludes this unboxing thank you for watching and I hope you had fun